love historical epics. This one, sadly, was not for me. Hey guys, my name is Joseph Curtis, and if you love movies just as much as me, you have come to the right place. Now do me a huge solid and click that like and subscribe button. Also, if you want to follow me on the following social platforms, that would be great as well. Now, let's start talking the oath. 400 AD, in a forgotten time of ancient America, a lone fugitive must preserve the history of his fallen nation while being hunted by a ruthless tyrant. But rescuing the king's abused mistress could awaken a warrior's past. Let me give you a brief lesson on the Book of Mormon, because this movie is actually based on some ideas that the Book of Mormon has displayed in their religion. And I, for one, am not a Mormon. My wife actually used to be, and I was watching this film, and my wife realized, wait, this is actually about the beliefs with Mormons, and I had no idea. I genuinely, with all respect, I genuinely thought it was just a fantasy film that someone made up about this guy who has these golden tablets, and then one day they disappear. Like, it just sounded like a fantasy to me. So it, it made my viewing experience of this film a little bit more intrigued. But as a film as a whole, this is a bad movie. Like, it is bad. Bad, bad, bad. In the Book of Mormon's narrative, the Lamanites began as wicked rivals to the more righteous Nephites. But when the Nephite civilization became decadent, it lost divine favor and was destroyed by the Lamanites. Latter-day Saints have historically associated Lamanites with present-day Native American cultures. This is actually uh, directed and starring the same person, and you can tell that they are passionate about this story, and I'm assuming this guy is a Mormon, and clearly he wants to declare his faith. What happens when you are at the end of the road with the tribe, and where does that legacy go? I feel like at the end of the day, that's what this director was trying to portray of this message just because this person died or this tribe died doesn't mean the message died and I think that's a really cool concept and a beautiful thing the score was actually pretty intense in some moments and kind of sweeping fantastic job and the first thing I'll touch on that is a huge issue with this film the major one is the story it's not compelling and I'm honestly just genuinely confused about what's happening on screen because the way they try to catch you up to speed or make you understand why this prophet is all alone with these golden tablets. You're questioning what those things are. You're questioning who he was in the past. You're questioning why he even got here. Why is he alone? And these people are hunting him clearly because the two factions, tribes, don't like each other. If you have moments where you're trying to convey your character's reasoning and some action here and there, which there really isn't a whole lot until you get to the last 25 minutes. You just find yourself in a place of confusion, bewilderment, and what's even the point of this film. Also, the editing is pretty jarring at times with characters jumping from one location to the other without context. The last thing I'll mention about this review that I found absolutely atrocious was the acting. Everybody who thinks that this is going to be their kickstart into their next project, probably not going to happen. The only one that's safe is Billy Zane, but even this performance was almost, I don't want to say a career killer, but there's some projects that he's probably not going to get because of this film. And I can only see the two reasons being that he chose this project is that he's a Mormon and they paid him the most amount of money out of every other actor. Overall, The Oath had some good intentions when it comes to the concept of faith and what it means to bring your faith to other people. Love it. But if your movie has a dull script with dull acting, dull pacing, I can't get behind it. So I'm giving The Oath a 2 out of 10. Wow, that was a bad movie. But hey, you might like it. So let me know if I'm wrong. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to be blessed.